modest signs of progress at the Port of Los Angeles were touched on at a virtual news conference on Tuesday, November 16, by Port Executive Director Gene Zeroka who was joined by U.S. Department of Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg. But, he added, we're talking about a global, interconnected supply chain that is run mostly by the private sector, I heard someone say it's not a silver bullet, answer, it's more like silver buckshot. Six sweeper ships have taken away thousands of empty containers in recent weeks, beyond the normal numbers, with two more currently on the way, he added said. The port typically ships 350, 000 empty containers back to Asia each month. Night hours are being used, in part, to pull empties being stored on off-port sites back to load on ships taking them back to Asia for refilling. Some 25% of cargo taking up dock space has been moved out in the past several weeks, Seroka said, taking the total number of containers on the port tarmac from about 95,000 to 71,000. Longer dwelling cargo has decreased by 29% through voluntary actions, he said, prompting a second week long delay by the port and the deadline to begin charging fines to ocean carriers. That gives us a little more room on the terminal tarmacs, Seroka said. And that allows longshore workers to unload waiting ships at a faster pace. Asked about the move to 24-7, Seroka said the port is already working about 19 hours a day with new flex hours between day and night shifts. But a workable 24-7 plan, Seroka said, requires buying from all sectors and that's not coming quickly. We've had very few takers to date he said, noting that warehouse workers tend not to work night shifts, in one example. With incoming October cargo totals again expected to be just short of a monthly record, the challenge shows no sign of slowing down, 